Hello everybody, this is the BG and today we're going to talk about how to clean natural casings. This is an extension from the previous video where we talked about sausage making equipment and so now we'll focus on the actual casing. When you buy a casing, or natural casing specifically, it is packed in a salt mixture that you have to rinse off. If you don't do that, you're going to have this terrible outside to the sausage. It's not difficult to actually uh, rinse the sausage, it's just the more difficult thing is actually when you buy a, a whole package of it like this, this is called a hank, and it's enough for making about 100 to 120 pounds of sausage. Inside the hank, there's going to be 12 to 16 individual pieces of casing, and the difficult part here is actually getting the casing separated so you can actually clean it itself. When you take it out of the package, it comes tied together in a in a ring and so the first step is actually get everything out figuring out where the ring is actually tied off and then trying to pull one thread at a time off of the ring once you get that then the next step is actually getting it you know on the faucet and then rinsed out Once you get one piece of casing separated, now you can actually get it rinsed out. So for this, I have a double bowl sink where I keep one, uh, the left side has all the casing that's not been rinsed to it, and then the right side will actually will put a stopper in it so I can get some water on the bottom, and then this is where the rinsing would occur. This is happening, like, you're basically turning the casing into a piece of uh, garden hose, where I want to take it, put it over the spigot of the faucet, and then I want to start running water through it. The water on the bottom is used so that the uh, casing doesn't get tangled within itself. What you're doing, you know, your left hand is holding onto the casing so it stays on the faucet, and then the right hand is simply just moving the casing around to make sure that it's not tangling itself. Once you get this Leviathan uh, fully filled up, and this is something, you know, having kids watch, they think it's amazing uh, fun to do this. Once you get the entire tube filled up with water, the next step is to actually hold on to the end that was attached to the faucet and then slowly start picking up the casing so that the water gets flushed out the backside of the casing. Uh, this is something, if you do not hold on to your left hand well, you know, you're going to shoot water everywhere because you have this entire casing full of, of water at this point. You want to make sure that it's going out the actual backside of the casing, not out the front. But that's it. This is the only thing uh, needed for actually cleaning out the casing. Once you get done getting the water flushed out the back, you just let it sit in a bowl of uh, more water until you're ready to actually use it. Okay, friends. Thanks for joining us on our Sausage Odyssey. In our next video, we'll pull what you've learned about sausage making tools and cleaning sausage casing into our walkthrough of how to make Polish sausage. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for notifications, check out our website, and we'll see you next time on our final freezer. Oh, that's, that's delicious. Mm. Uh-oh, we got some leakage. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. It's a great way to spend a Friday night. Cleaning, saving tips.